question 4a in the diagram O is the center of the circle OC is parallel to AD so this line is parallel to AD and this is the center of the circle line AB is a straight line so this is a straight line and angle OCA is 48 degrees calculate angle ABC so we are calculating this angle now the fact that this is the center and AB is passing through the center then AB is a diameter if a diameter subtends an angle at a circumference then that angle is a 90 degree angle so this angle is 90 degrees angle ACB is a 90 degree angle the reason is that the angle subtended by a diameter is equal to 90 degrees at a circumference now if these two angles are give us 90 degrees then we can find this angle this angle will be 90 minus 48 and we simplify to obtain 42 degrees so this angle is 42 degrees now this is a radius this is another radius hence triangle OBC is an associated triangle and the base angles must be the same so this angle is also 42 degrees now we are looking for angle ABC but angle ABC and angle OBC are all formed at the same vertex so they must be equal hence angle ABC is 42 degrees so that is our first approach our second approach is that we know this and this must also be equal because they are the base angles of an isosceles triangle O A C now if they are equal then we can find their sums to be 96 degrees 96 degrees now if we add this 96 degrees to this angle over here angle O angle AOC AOC then we should be getting 180 but that is the sum of angles in a triangle now if that is giving us 90 180 we can solve for AOC so angle angle AOC angle AOC will be equal to 180 minus 96 and that will give us 84 degrees now angle ABC is the angle subtended by called AC or arc AC at the center and the same chord subtends an angle ABC at the circumference so the relationship is that angle ABC angle ABC is equal to half of angle AOC which is 84 degrees so we must have angle AOC to be equal to 42 degrees so these are the two approaches that we can use to solve this question now the B aspect from a window of a building the angle of elevation of the top of a tower 50 meters away is 31 degrees and the angle of depression of the foot of the tower is 25 degrees 
calculate correct two decimal places the height of the tab this the window this the window so there's someone here looking through the window we're told that the distance from the window to the tower is 50 meters 50 meters then the angle of elevation is 31 degrees then the angle of depression is 25 degrees that is the foot of the tower so the top of the tower and the foot of the tower now we are being asked to calculate the height of this building now let's label our diagram let this be a this be b and this be c and this space be d then we are looking for a b a b but before we can find a b we need to find AD and BD. The reason is that the triangle ABC is divided into two right angle triangles. And when we know the side and an angle of a right angle triangle, then we can calculate the other size. So taking triangle ADC, so from triangle ADC, from triangle ADC, the tangent of this angle tan tan 31 degrees is equal to the opposite which is AD opposite which is AD over the adjacent which is CD now this will give us tan 31 degrees is equal to AD AD over 50 meters 50 meters so we make AD the subject to obtain AD AD is equal to 50 times tan 31 degrees 50 times tan 31 degrees so 50 meters times tan 31 degrees then we need to find BD also and we can use the tangent ratio again so we also know that the tangent of the angle 25 degrees is equal to the opposite which is db over the adjacent which is 50 so db db will be equal to 50 tan 25 degrees 50 tan 25 degrees so now AD AB which is the height of the tower AB which is the height of the tower is equal to DB DB plus AD and this will be equal to 50 than 30 than 25 degrees 50 than 25 degrees plus 50 Tan 31 degrees and this will give us 
this will give us 53.358.358 then we have to correct this to two decimal places and this will be equal to 53.36 to two decimal places to two decimal places so that is the length of AB 53.36 meters 53.36 meters